Hey there, two bees. Today, we've got quite an interesting story to discuss, and it's all about a female business owner in Kelantan, Malaysia, who received a compound notice from the city council for wearing shorts that were deemed indecent. Can you believe it? The incident took place on Sunday when this woman, who runs her own business, shared her frustration on Facebook about being fined for wearing shorts at her own premises. Naturally, this stirred up a lot of public outrage. I mean, who wouldn't be upset about something like this? The Kota Baru City Council, MPKB, came forward to defend their decision, stating that it was in accordance with a bylaw that requires non-Muslim business owners and employees to wear decent clothes. Now, the MPKB claimed that the woman was actually wearing a different outfit at the time the compound was issued, contrary to what she had shared on social media. To support their statement, the MPKB posted a series of photos on their official Facebook page. These photos showed the woman wearing an oversized pink t-shirt that covered her shorts, with an enforcement officer standing at the entrance of her boutique. According to the compound notice, the alleged offense was described as non-Muslim owner dressed immodestly. Here's where things get really interesting. Even the Promalay Opposition Party in Malaysia, Part 1 Perbumi Bursatu Malaysia, Bursatu, disagreed with the MPKB's clarification. They argued that the council does not have the authority to control clothing or morality. They pointed out that the bylaw exceeds the powers granted to the council under the Local Government Act 1976, which only allows bylaws related to health, safety, and welfare. Bursatu also raised concerns about the word decent in the bylaw, stating that it's vague and can be interpreted differently. They emphasized that the standards applied to Muslim women, such as covering the orit, should not be imposed on non Muslims. And honestly, they make a valid point here. Shouldn't everyone have the freedom to choose their own attire without facing fines or judgments? The local government development minister, Na Kor Ming, also weighed in on the issue. He urged the MPKB to revoke the compound, arguing that their decision violates constitutionally protected freedom. He stressed the importance of respecting freedom of attire in a multicultural society and suggested that discussions, admonishments, and education should be prioritized over immediate summonses. Now, this incident is not an isolated case in Malaysia. We've seen similar controversies surrounding dress code enforcement before. Just earlier this year, the Kajang police faced backlash for denying entry to a woman wearing Bermuda shorts when she wanted to lodge a police report. And there was also that hospital in Kampar, Perak, that allegedly denied entry to a young woman due to her choice of shorts. It's clear that there's an ongoing debate in Malaysia about dress codes and the enforcement thereof. So, my friends, what are your thoughts on this matter? Do you believe the city council was justified in issuing the fine, or do you agree with those who argue for individual freedom of attire? Drop your comments down below, and let's get the discussion going.